Greetings! My name's Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. And welcome back to Dredge. Last time, we dealt, oh, we finally got to use those uh, parts, what were they called? Experimental parts, or something like that. The parts, in, uh, in order to set up a machine to tell a giant uh, stellar squid thing to fuck off. And then we got our prize, and now we're heading off to somewhere completely different. Which is a shame, because the stellar person was pretty cool. Uh, actually... Hmm. Maybe I should hang out... Maybe I should head back to the stellar person for a bit, because there were some pretty profitable fish over there. Due to the whole, uh, mechanics behind the banishing stuff. Hmm. And I do need some cash. Oh, before I do that, before I go anywhere, I should get some dread materials, because those are fucking everywhere, including go back here. It'd probably be easier to get them here. Certainly be faster. I'm already here. <sighs> got a lot of. I got a couple of things to upgrade, certainly. Mm, hoping for more, but oh well. I'm wondering if, how many refined metal do I have left? Probably not enough to go for the next tier. Probably. Almost certainly, in fact. Um, is there some over this way? Not refined metal, but you know what I mean. Nah. Oh, that said salt fish for a second. Oh yeah, I also got a thing to banish evil. Or more accurately, banish random bozos. The, the spell most evils. I don't know about evil. They're just. I mean, they're pretty vicious, certainly, but. Hmm. Seems a bit odd to ascribe evil to it. What's this? What's left is a. There's an old hut. Huh. Ooh, a yoink! I understand that I missed this. These treasures aren't that great, but the research part and the lumber. Oh, yeah. Basically for free. Sweet. Oh, real glad I swung by here again. Now... Should be some dread spots. Oh, hang on. There might be more dread spots around this area than the others. Although that might just be because I've explored this place more. Not, I don't actually remember what I need for this stuff, but hey, more materials in general is gonna be handy. Oh, hi! The lighthouse keeper approaches you on the dock, wearing a questioning expression. <gasps> you must have been around most of the islands by now. Have you found whatever it is you're looking for? I'm just fishing. <laughs> you recoil from your flagrant lie. <laughs> Why do you mistrust me so? What have I done to warrant such suspicion? I don't really trust anyone, frankly. Not here, anyways. She turns from you, shaking her head and muttering. She heads back towards the lighthouse. I mean, what have you done to earn my trust, is the question you should be asking. And the answer is jack shit. You've done nothing. <laughs> mm. 
kind of running out of space here. Maybe I should sell off some of this junk. Won't go for much. Go for jack shit, pretty much, but oh well. My probably be a good idea to do it just to get it out of my... But no. Well, I don't know. I use up this this stuff almost as quickly as I get it. It's not that big of a deal. Alright. Huh. Alright, I already did this one. So I guess there's not as much I need to get materials for as I thought. Uh, I can get a new light. And more light space, but that wouldn't really do much. Rod space. Nah, that's kind of rough. I can think of some things I could fit there, but not th nothing that would actually unlock new things. Just give me more speed. Ooh, wow. Nearly to put that. I'm basically just getting these because I'm trying to get to the next tier. Gonna need two more refined metal, which I should be able to get. I should be able to get. Uh, I should hopefully be able to get at least one. They've gotten four so far, and I've only been to like three places, so. Probably. Maybe I might even just get the remaining two in, the, in that next area. That'd be nice. Are there any other ones that need it? No, I think I already checked that. Anyways. <laughs> okay, so. One, one metal, one wood, two fabric. Okay, no. Three metal, three wood, two fat. I might be able to get all of that here. If not, I can always do that once I nip on over to the other place. Wherever that other place will end up being. How much cash do I even have? Oh, I've got a good bit of a goodly bit of cash. I'll probably afford all the rest of the upgrades, but I haven't checked. That reminds me. I should probably head back over to Steel Point at some point. <laughs> that wasn't even intentional. Funny how, in some ways, Going on the sea or in the water or whatever is kind of like in, being in space, and in other words, in other ways, completely opposite. The surprisingly little mid, mid ground there. I really shouldn't be doing that, but oh well. All right, that's all the fabric I need. Or, Uh, I think it was wood that I needed three of? Oh no, I needed three of both wood and metal, right. Or three more. Mm, probably won't get quite enough. Oh, I got enough of the metal at the very least. If I can just get one more wood. I should now technically contradict what I just said, but shut up. Uh, is there another dredge spot? I sure hope so. Ooh! That was not English. It doesn't look like it. I don't know what the fuck I said. It wasn't English. Come on, give me the damn... There we go. I don't know what that weird green light means, but it seems to mean more... aberrations than normal. I'm gonna assume that's what it means. It might just be confirmation bias. I might be getting the perfectly normal amount of operations from those. Alright. Yo! That seems like a while. Yeah, you haven't seen me in a while either. I don't know why I said that like that, like they were connected. I mean, technically, me and the red light are connected in a certain way, but me being gone isn't connected to that. Well, technically, I guess it's tangentially connected, but in the opposite way. There. More expensive than I thought. Less expensive than I thought. Alright. Yep, just one single material short. 
bugger. Well, hopefully one of those red slot uh, spots has recovered slightly. Because that's not. Oh wait, there were some red spots over by Steel Point, weren't there? Guess I've got an excuse to go there then. Yo! Hey, Builder. Uh. Hey, thanks again for helping me move out here. I've managed to get myself set up now. Alright. Good talk. <laughs> okay, then. Uh-oh. Metal. Fabric. Okay, there we go. I thought all- I thought that was metal, too. Might as well grab these, too. Never know when you're gonna need fabric or metal. I guess I technically don't need any of these. I could probably finish the entire game without ever upgrading my ship. Probably, anyways. Let's see why I would need to. But then again, I haven't finished the game yet, so. Hmm. But it's nice to have. Oh, research part. Speaking of nice th things that are nice to have, I'm so glad it didn't go empty right after I got that. That would be dick ripping. That would be dick ripping? I'm not sure that makes grammatical sense, but whatever. You don't make grammatical sense, audience. Uh. I don't know if this is the most. Uh, Riveting of gameplay, but you're watching Dredge. What did you expect? If it wasn't this, then I don't know what you've been watching this whole time, but it hasn't been my Dredge videos. Actually, you probably haven't been watching them because like 99% of my viewers aren't subscribed and probably haven't even watched the previous video. Wow, there's a lot of metal here. Is this even going to be the end of it? Yes, okay. Alright. Now, since we've got the convenience of the storage right here, we can store these and then go grab some night fish on our, on our way back. In fact, hi, that didn't actually damage it. Sweet. I really care about that I can research. All right, the mangrove thing. It's. Pr I think I'll hold off on that for now because I'm like 99% sure that the twisted strand is where I'm gonna need the mangrove thing. But I'm not a hundred percent sure. So you know what? Fuck it. I've argued myself out of my own conclusion. <laughs> Let's grab it. Uh, one second. <laughs> Once I get eventually get uh, five more research parts, assuming I don't spend them on anything else, which I might, uh, but probably not. Uh, if I get five more of that, then I can grab that, and then I can fit it nicely there, and I can remove this and put it there, and everything will be great. Oh, that reminds me, I need to get a new, uh, another, I need to get one of those, uh, miniature engines to fit there. I can eke out a bit more speed. It only costs, like, what was it, 270? Yeah, I should be able to afford that by the time I get back. Just from Nightfish thing. Black to Roof Shark. Yeah, here we go. Uh oh. That's a problem. Wait, no it's not. 
Oi! Idiot! Eat shit! Yeah! Bugger off! Left mouth shark. A large body bisected by an enormous grinning maw. Teeth stretched down forever into the blackness of its large gullet. What? You're back? Are you kidding me? Oh, that did jack shit. Came back like two seconds later. What? I have one moment of peace. <sighs> oh, fuck. Yeah. Oh, it's still there. What if I turn off my lights? Will it not notice me? Oh, you bastard. Okay, fine. Fuck off then. I guess I'm not gonna make any money because this asshole just keeps fucking camping me like a bitch. What's the matter? Can't actually catch your own fucking prey, so you've gotta rely on camping bullshit. What a showed. Man, that Spanish thing did jack shit to stop it. I mean, I guess it, it repelled it, I guess, so it's good for, like, running away or whatever, but... Man. Oh, wow. Look at that cash. All right. There we go. Plus one light space. I'm sure how useful that's gonna be, but all right. It always means that where it places it isn't actually properly, entirely lined up. It's like annoying where you like accidentally get into the gaps or whatever. Alright, oh, still got one piece of metal left. <laughs> and all of the cloth. Alright, I just need three lumber and two for refined metal. Sweet! That should be. F I mean, that, half of that should be really. really wow, gonna we'll need quite a lot of cash. Alright! Oh, hey, the lighthouse keeper. What is it? What do you know about the old mayor of Little Marrow? That's... Ah, he's... I try not to think about him. It's a painful memory for us all. Some nights I still think I can hear the hum of his engines sailing past the bay. But I know he's gone. And I don't want to talk about it anymore. What do you know about the old mayor? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've been finding relics as a collector. Shall I tell her that? Eh, fuck it. Why not? <sighs> Relics? Collector? I'm not sure what you're hoping to achieve with this character. Uh, getting cool new powers, that's what. Do you even know? Have you stopped to consider it? Yes. <laughs> Actually, I have. Okay. Let's go on to the Twisted Strand then, shall we? Well, hang on. Before we do that, uh -huh. let's see, anti-tangle line. Hmm, actually, if I give up this, and I can fit that there. Well, no, I don't need to get up there. I just need to move it there, and then I can fit. Yeah, all right. And I have enough cash. All right. Yeah, okay. Sweet. Alright, let's uninstall it there, and then reinstall it 
there. Here we go. Boom. Bob's your uncle. Hopefully the whole abyssal. Uh, hopefully there'll be some abyssal or hadal areas there too. To make it, but to, make that's still worth it. Um, anything else I need to care about? Probably not. Let me just take a quick look over here, over to the other place to see if there's any new stuff happening. Oh, I should probably talk to the mayor as well. Eh, fuck the mayor. Uh, yo, green father. Nope. Uh, dock worker. <coughs> Do you ever process shipments for Blackstone Isle? <sighs> At a ruin? Doubt it. Uh, let's see. He flicks through a large book. Large log book. It appears to be a record of shipping manifests. Thought so. Building of a shipping address. As far as I know, nobody lives there. What else can I do for you? you know any shipwrecks around here? No, there are a few around the eastern side of the island. Most mostly rotted away by now, I expect. Or dashed apart by the waves. Poor souls keep keep hitting rocks in the fog, I guess. There's a blind spot back there where the lighthouse can't be seen. People get turned around. Yep. What do you know about any strange occurrences? Mm. Ever heard a tale in the tavern some years ago? Sounded pretty strange to me. Supposedly, some twenty odd years ago. Fisherman from these parts hauled up in it, hauled up an old sealed casket from the sea floor. They pried, inside, uh, pried it open and took what was inside for themselves. That very night, the fog rolled in for the first time, and it has cloaked the seas every night since. What was in that accursed casket? Nobody knows. Probably a body. All the crew that laid eyes on its content went bad, or worse, expelled. The casket and crew have since disappeared without a trace. The fog remains. Crazy stuff, huh? Uh, what's it like working on the docks? <laughs> That's changeable as the weather, ha! <laughs> Most days it's pretty quiet. Pay's not too great, but the work's straightforward. That suits me to a T. It's good to get that fresh sea breeze without actually being on the water. No offense, but you wouldn't get me on these, those seas every day. Heh. <laughs> Alrighty then. Anything? I wonder how much stuff this is worth. 2750. Yeah. This one's worth slightly more. <sighs> I'm still mad about that. So you know what? I'm staying resolute. You won't get a single one of my treasures ever until I get until I get a reasonable price for them. Alright. Here, I've got a flag for you. Mm -hmm. Not a scrap of fabric, hey? Let me see. A unique design. You want to touch it now? Nah. I just wanted to get it out of my, of my storage, you know? I'm thinking about just keeping my ship the same as it is, uh, as it was right from the start. As a, uh, I don't know, a metaphor for something. But a metaphor what? I don't know. I still haven't found that one type of fish that like, I wanted. What was it again? Snake mackerel. Yeah, I have no idea where the fuck snake mackerel is. Ooh, what's this? Another ship. This one not run aground. You pull up alongside a boat at anchor. There are signs of life on board, but nobody appears to greet you. Hey! Almost immediately, a small slot in the door snaps open. A pair of frantic eyes peer out at you. Who goes there? A monster. Very funny. 
do you want? I was just checking to see if you're okay. Do I seem okay? No, I am very much not okay. I'm supposed to be delivering this package to Romero. I'm being stalked. A huge leviathan lurks in these deep waters. I've seen it. It hung in the water. It's gaping mouth just below the boat. It was followed this vessel hole if I hadn't bolted for the shallows. I'm not going any further into the cursed island chain. I could deliver the package for you. Mm. It would? I thought it would work, I guess. Huh. Dense, damp, and very sticky. Interesting. The courier pushes a lumpy brown package through the door hole. It scorches slightly as you take it in your hands. Dark fluid oozes from one corner. Thank you, stranger. This is bound for the dock worker at Little Marrow. And I'm not sure what's inside, but... Listen, I know this sounds crazy. Sometimes I think I can hear the faintest of whispers coming from it. Now, I'm not supposed to be transporting live goods. I don't have the equipment for it. So just be careful with this thing. Whatever it is. Mm. Here, why don't you take this too? Getting over it with mind and body. Again, an, uh, again an item put, emerges from the door hole. This time, a book is pushed through and does under the deck below. You pick it up. People really like giving me books. I'll be on my way whenever the coast is clear. Safe travels. Alrighty then. Getting over it. How oh, horrifying. What's that? Oh, treasures. Bah, humbug. A lot of treasures around here. Interesting. Deliver the package, huh? What's that over there? I say rhetorically. Oh wait, hang on. That's not what I thought it was. I thought it was another one of those messages in the bottle that hold an entire day in them. But no, it's a serpent flag. Alright. Well... Hmm. I'm gonna be heading back. I guess it would be slightly faster to head to the Blackstone Isle, but meh. Only slightly faster. Package here for you, if you know what I mean. Mm. Delivery, eh? Oh, it's a big one. Let me see. He takes a large package, hee hee, and examines it gently with his hand, hee hee. He listens it to one ear and listens for a while. He seems satisfied. Much appreciated, friend. Now, if you'll excuse me, wish me luck. What? He turns and hurries off down the dock without another word to you, or compensation. What a douche! Rest here, I suppose. Yeah. Well, no, I should give it. I might as well give the flag to the painter. Here you go. Hmm. Yeah. Wait a second. What? You saw the flag? I saw this flag? Where did it? Hang on, what? Hmm. Okay. I guess I had a... another flag? That I didn't notice? Or something? I don't know. That was a bit odd. Let's, uh, hmm. I wish I could grab some fish so I can actually buy that bonus engine to speed me up a little bit. Oh, 
Aha, here we go. Okay, so what did that actually do? Uh, I hate that that goes at the bottom. Fishing is a chance to not reduce fish stocks. A scientific exploration on responsibility and accountability within the fishing industry. I don't think it'll catch on. <laughs> Alright then. That's 25% combined, I guess. Alright, just snip on that back over, sell the fish, buy the stuff, repair my ship, probably. And then let's head on over. Fine. Oh yes. More than enough cash for everything. All right. Here we go. An extra 10-ish. And some repairs, and Bob's your uncle. <laughs> well, it's worth, it's, it fits across, it goes across three spaces, but not in the right orientation. And I don't have the cash for it anyways, even if I could use it. Oh well. Do I buy this for an extra... ...range and everything? Wait. No, okay. That... They can't possibly stack with the range. Otherwise, this would... Hang on. I'm not entirely certain how the stacking works, actually. This, if it stacks, if the range stacks linearly, then getting just three of these would be much, it would be much better than getting one of these, than one of these. I don't know. Whatever. Let's finally head over to Triss's Strand. Only like half an hour into the video. Wrong way. And <laughs> finally heading over to the Tristan Strand. Oh well. You wouldn't be here if you didn't have a tolerance for very slow progress. Or very slow everything, really. Huh. It's gone. Fair enough. Hoping for some kind of reward, but oh well. Let's go this way. What's this? That's new. Moonfish. Brilliant glittering scales give this fish its name. Uniquely, it's the only no known warm-blooded fish. Interesting. And I immediately get a skeletal moonfish, which is very much not warm-blooded. Well, actually, I guess it might... Okay, no, never mind. It does actually have skin. It's just translucent. Chittering bones to operate a ghostly body and possibly devoid of order. Oh, it's not translucent skin. It's straight up ghost. Okay, so I guess it should be called a ghost moonfish then. Huh. Alrighty then, that's apparently a thing that happens. Now, what is this? Oh, probably another flag. I don't even know why I bother. Hook flag. That's a bit on the nose, isn't it? Long fin eel. That's kind of an awkward shape. Oh, I need the one I need the mangrove thing for. A long eel, obviously, with delicate fins. Spend, <laughs> spends the day coiled around the roots of the, man of the mangrove trees, but emerges at night to hunt. When are they gonna have woman grove trees? What's this sexism? Let's 
the wrong thing. Why am I on the hook? I mean, not the hook, four. Hi. Neat. Okay then. Um, there we go. What? Eyes. Oh no, that's just an airplane, I think. What's this? This is coming to be a thing. I mean, flag. Dog tags. I heard dog tags. A name, number, and address are printed in duplicate. Curious. Can I actually do this? No, I guess it's just set dressing. Alright, sure, why not? Alright, let's head to the goddamn. Traveling merchant then. I call her my waifu, but it seems more accurate that these that I'm her waifu. Uh if anything. Yeah yeah yeah. Nice. Right. <sighs> Don't know what the fuck that was about, but all right. <laughs> the most successful captains know how to p push the vessel to the limit. Is yours running at peak efficiency? I'll push you to the limit, all right. <laughs> okay. Not much sleep, but oh well. Okay, let's take a quick look see into the center of that place because it doesn't seem like there's any other docks around here, so maybe I shouldn't have used the banish thing. Might need it. the heck is this? Oh, what the heck is that? Coming after me, the looks of it. Maybe it'll go through that and it'll get caught. I don't know. Fuck. Gar. Okay. Exceptionally long and slender fish. Strong scales stretch down the length of its body. Ooh, claw fin car. Crooked talons hang from its fins. Periodically, they shudder and come together. Grasping like a hand. Now, not quite. Damn it. A lot of not quite around here. Oh. Just like a, uh, not quite able to. Think that, oh well. Okay, let's quickly go and sell these and then let's start plumbing the depth. Now that we've got some spending money. Or we will have some. Oh yeah, crab pots. I've kind of forgotten about stuff like that. I don't know. Stuff like the crab pods and the nets and stuff just don't really interest me. I prefer to actively go out and catch my own fish. You know? Well, maybe you don't. But still. Am I a fisherman or am I a fisherman? Besides, it saves on research parts, not, ever, not go, uh, investing into those things.
Hi. Let's go the other way. Wasn't there... Uh, wasn't there blockage before? I think that's what I got earlier. It's got the same orientation anyways. Sure if I'm going the right way. I'm not, no. Shit. Damn it, I shouldn't have gotten spooked by that thing, should just... Or maybe I should have. The stone hums quietly, sending ripples through the air around it. Faint shapes dance upon its surface, vanishing before your eyes can focus on them. Well, this is a plan with neither flaw nor any possibility of error. Cold stone does not require your touch. Alright. And blockage. But can I? Yes. Light the fuse. Wow, nearly blew up my computer apparently with that, with that lag. Aha! Here we go. Now I just need one more. So weak. Maybe I should have brought two explosives so I could get through the other side of that. Be a half decent shortcut. Ah. The wreckage of an old fighter plane lies buried deep in the sand. Alright, now I'm glad I did. You look pull a little closer. Oh, now I'm real glad about that. More of these dog tags. And a worn gold ring. Well, it's not being worn right now. Ooh, one of these again. Tarpon. A powerful fish capable of bursts of energy. Well suited to dashing into the mangrove roots to take cover. And I think that might that uh, this thing might actually be the easiest yet. Ooh. Scales given way to bubbling flesh. A surface dweller singled out and cleansed by the sun. The sun. The sun. The sun. Anyways. Alright. Some stuff there. Wish I could move. Ah, yes, I can place a marker. Okay, good. So around here is... A couple of dread spots. Long finials. This one with the weird green stuff. Right. Again, I have to assume it means something. Twinned eels, endlessly pulling away, but torn apart, they would surely perish. Two spiteful siblings spitting, splitting at the seam. That hits a bit too close to home. Well, aside from the perishing split apart, I have survived perfectly fine, having been split apart. Let's see. I don't have much space for anything else anyways. Again, I'm sure the open water is the exactly safer. That's true, whatever that is. Now I have enough cash for that thingamabob, the, uh, yeah, this. 
I just need to get more wood, uh, lumber, which I know where to find. Oh wait, I don't have enough cash. But I'm close enough. We're close to enough, at least, uh, rather. So you get lumber, I know where to find, and some refined metal, which I don't know where to find. All right. Let me just sleep real quick. Uh, buy some more. Uh, keep me missing see how much of this. Buy some more explosives. Ooh, and uh, research this. Why not? Versatile rod. An all rounder's rod. This rig supports a quick swap attachment, allowing the user to change lines depending on the situation. Sweet. And then, I'll, and then once, once I can get that, I'll have everything. Not just everything, but enough space for this, too. Over here. Ah. Then life will be good. Okay. Let's quickly nip on over. Wait, I forgot to sleep. There. Hang on. Did I save everything I did? Yes, okay, good. Let's sleep, or rest, rather. <laughs> what are you fancy about it? And I got turned around. That's annoying. Well, it still wastes less time than returning would have. Hi. Hopefully this is the way. Yep. Expect. And I was right to grab explosives, as I usually am when I grab explosives. And this tattered receipt goldsmith and son number 27 little marrow december 22nd 1926 received the sum of 50 50 dollars and zero zero cents in exchange for one one silver necklace with emeralds on us on silver mounting Sil wow they were still jipping people even back then additional notes received a further three dollars for custom engraving on reverse of mounting Customer to return tomorrow, tw tw 23rd of December, for collecting. Raving is to be as follows. For J, my shining star. Oh no, no. They were they were selling it, not buying it. Okay. Huh. Wait a minute, I missed the I missed my exit. Damn it. I sure hope I don't need those explosives for something over this way. Nope. Okay. Oh! Another dock. Alright. They lied to me. Oh. A large man is watching you through the billowing smoke of a campfire, idly carving away at a wooden stake. He stands as you pull ashore. <laughs> Stranger, from that look on your face, I'd say you've encountered the local wretches. Take a seat. What? No, not really. I mean, I, see, I guess I saw some creature from a distance, but no, I haven't actually really encountered anything. He's going in by the fire. We're trying to rid them, rid them from this cursed jungle ever since we wrecked here. Always call them mind suckers. I kind of them, well, affected the mind. I'm gonna see things, do things. Are you sure you didn't just go stir crazy or something? That sounds like an excuse for getting stir crazy and killing each other or something. I'd ask you for the safe passage away from here. It's not until after I've avenged my squadron. What happened to them? Did they get mind sucked? Uh, remember us with down in the fog, crashing into the trees or ditching into the water. Those that survived rallied here, under the boughs of this giant tree. But it offered a scant protection. Before help could arrive, our, number, uh, our numbers quickly dwindled, picked off by the fiends in the forest. What is it, the trees themselves? I met a few would-be rescuers over the years, but none would help me in my fight. Are you any different to the rest? Sure, I'm always up for, for fighting mind suckers. <laughs> I can help. I figured you'd be up for it. You, you have the look. Of a deranged madman? Yep. Listen up. First, we need to find the lost pieces of my squadron's mortar. Oh shit! I'm liking this plan. We'll then use that to bombard the beasts. Hmm. Other planes went down to the north and east of where we are now. Mark the possible crash sites on your map. You go and see what you can salvage. Oh yeah, I did salvage some stuff, but I don't know if we could use any of that stuff. 
What are we supposed to be doing? Lost pieces of the squad is water. Yeah. How will you honor your squad mates? <sighs> I hung a few of their dog tags up on the tree behind me. Seems fitting enough. But I've only got tags on the ones I... I must understand. I never found all their bodies. If I happen to find any of their dog tags, I can add them to the tree with their brothers. <laughs> I have a number of mechanical doodads you might find useful. Here, take this one. In good faith. I'll give you more for each tag you bring me. Oh, sweet! Even if that's just one to one, that's pretty damn good. Alright. Are there any shipwrecks around here? Hmm. Shipwrecks? No. Anything that meets its end here is quickly swallowed by the silt. Huh. Tell me about the mine suckers. Hmm. Devilish creatures, the wind room. They'll stalk you along the waterways and emerge suddenly, screeching their terrible song. The first time it happened to me, I saw shadows of my squad mates reaching out to me in a feverish dream. When I finally snapped out of it, I was covered in bloody scratches. It was a semi running through the foliage. But then I've done my best to avoid the beans. Their senses seem to be based on movement, so move carefully. Huh. Their vision is based on movement. Uh. Yeah. Alright. Sweet. Alright, I got. Huh. Nice of you to mark them on that for me. Found an airman in Twisted Strand who crashed there some years ago. He's the only surviving member of his squadron, as far as we know. He doesn't want to leave until he's avenged his fellow aviators, killed by mine suckers, apparently. I'm to help him with his plan. Might as well. No, cargo. Alright. Here you go. Let me see. Here and here. Hmm. Hi. Thank you. I'll hang them on the tree. Here, as promised. Alright. Two, as I suspected. Alright, that's three. That's one short of this. Alright, just need to find one more dog tag or one more research part. Both of which I'm like I'm liable to find in these places. And we're golden. And then it's just that, I suppose. But I don't know if I'm ever actually gonna grab that. It would have to. Uh, would it be worth all that space just for the coastal shallow and oceanic, which I already have? From these and and more. I mean, uh, it'd have to be a pretty fucking massive boost to efficient speed. Would it be worth give, uh, potentially giving up? Really have Abyssal and Hadal, or. Maybe coastal and shallow. I don't know. I mean, not coastal and shallow. The other things. Mangrove and volcanic. Uh, but... That's all for today. So, next up, we're gonna be uh, grabbing some mortar pieces and bombing some suckers. And hopefully getting the last piece of refined metal plus some planks and getting the final upgrade or the final big upgrade to the ship itself. Another 15 storage things and also uh, I think another four from another from one of those upgrades. Something like that. That'll be nice. Let's see, 15. Hang on, let me check something. I wonder what shape the final thing will be. I mean, if you don't, it was. Hang on. One, two, three. Four, five. Now that wouldn't be quite enough for that. Wait. Uh... Yeah, because that'd be one, two, three, four, five. And that'd be tw that'd be twenty. And even with the final, final upgrade, that would only be nineteen. So. I don't know. I'm surprised I'm, ma I'm maxing out this early, frankly. Although I guess I have already explored... Well, I guess by that point I'll have already explored uh, four out of five areas. Assuming there's not more areas out there. But then again, that's assuming there aren't more upgrades that are just hidden away. Uh, but until next time, I have been Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. And remember, 
dislike the video, unsubscribe if you're for some reason subscribed, and leave an nasty comment in the comment section down below. Fuck you all so much for watching, and so long, suckers. You're gonna be okay, kid.